What's up everybody again? This is the Incredible Hack back with you with my man the Incredible Vincent Henderson. What's up, Vince? What's going on? Listen, um, we're kind of halfway through the album, about six yeah. songs in. We're going to be done by the end of December. Yeah, we will be done. <laughs> we will be done. <laughs> Got a lot of plans. And we're going to talk about a couple songs and kind of get Vince's take on them. I know y'all still waiting to hear them. Yeah. But uh, we, coming. We, coming. we coming, all right? Vincent, please don't pass me by. Please don't pass me Listen, that's my song. That's my song. I love the song, Please Don't Pass Me By, uh, because I can relate to that song on on all levels. On all levels? levels. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just, I, I, I I when we song. play it, man, I kind of see you light up a little bit. What, what makes it... What makes you so close to the song? Why do you why do you gravitate to this one? Because I mean, it's a lot of great songs on this record. Yeah. What what makes you gravitate to this one? Um, it, it's it's more personal for me because I can remember a time uh, and I, I couldn't feel God. You know what I'm saying? I can remember a time where I was trying to get into the presence of the Lord and it was hard for me, and it just seemed like God wasn't there. You know, I know that just seems a little. You know, when people say, well, even if you make your bed yeah. in hell, that God is with you and all of that stuff. But, you know, when you really, when your faith has really been tried, you know what I'm saying? Right. When it's really been through the fire, sometimes it will appear as if God is not with you. So for, you know, you hear a lot of people say, Lord, please don't pass me by. But it's different for me because I've been through the experience. Right. right so right, right. for me to say, Lord, please don't pass me by, that's coming from a totally different place, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and that's why I love the song and I can really feel it because of my experience. That is what's up, man. Yeah. We, we came up with yes, this little chant called Press. Through the mess. Through the mess. Yeah. And the press yeah. through the mess, you gotta have a touch from God. Yeah. We gotta be able to reach out to him. Oh, right, man. Yeah. Still, so that's gonna be great when y'all, we can't yeah. wait for y'all to hear it. Yeah. Uh, love your enemies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably one of my favorite yeah. songs. But um, talk to us a little bit about this, man. This Love your enemies. Wow. Um, when we recorded that song, I was actually in the middle of uh, experiencing loving my enemies. And we, you know, when we talk about enemies, we don't want to get it confused because the Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Right. You know, you hear a lot of people say enemies. You automatically begin to think about people. Right. We gotta remember that it's not each other that we're fighting. That's but, you right. Know, it's principalities, right. power, spiritual right. wickedness. It's, it's on a spiritual level. Right. So uh, I was actually in the middle of experiencing loving my enemies. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I had to forgive some people who hurt me and stabbed me in the back and and tried to scandalize my name. You know what I'm saying? Because of poor choices that I made in the past. And I'm sure you can relate to that. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to do to love your enemies because it's it's uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, well, right. what about me? Right. Especially if you're a person that's been through a whole lot of rejection and a whole lot of hurt and pain, and you got a big heart, you know what I'm saying? But love your enemies really, uh, it's a message to the song. It's got a little groove to it. Dun, 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 you know? It's got a little groove to the song when you yes, hear sir. it. You're going to like it's it. It's about, but it's a message. To it, the is song. A message. it is a message. It is a message. It, it, it tells us that, 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 well, God Himself told us that it's easy to love those who love you. Right. Right? He did. Yeah. Right, and and I, I probably the biggest message of all, and the reason why I love it so much is that um, people can sometimes you're the last Christ that somebody sees. Right, right, sure. And for yeah. for us to love people as God loves us mm -hmm. is us mm -hmm. showing them the love of God. Sure. That's why I like it so much because sure. um, um, He said uh, they'll know us right by the love. By the love. All right. Hey, we cut the song with your man. Dexter Cason. Dexter Cason. <laughs> yeah. The song came out really well. Really well. Really well. Talk to us about it a little bit. Give me a sign. Um, Give me a, a sign. sign. Yeah, Dexter Cason, uh, I call him Unc, Uncle. He really came in and did his thing and he really helped bring the song to, to life. Give me a sign. Uh, a lot of people, especially in the body of Christ, uh, you know what, now you only got to limit it to the body of Christ. It's, just, right. it's a lot of people that just really want to know where they are. And they really want to know why they exist and, gosh, what, what is my purpose here on earth? Right. And sometimes... And so many people wrestle with that. Yeah. Why am I here? I know I'm, I'm saved, but yeah. you, are, you are a singer. I'm a producer. Right. But what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What, 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 and and, and I, I feel like God is telling me something, mm -hmm. but how do I know that that's right. him? 
Right. And in, in, the, in the process of that, you know, sometimes a whole lot of confusion comes along. And you're trying to discover your purpose in the earth so you can reach your destiny, which is to ultimately uh, be the image of Jesus Christ. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now build the kingdom. Right. Build the kingdom. Seek you first. The kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. Right. We'll be added unto you. You know, <laughs> we get caught up in the other stuff being added unto us instead right. of seeking his kingdom. Right. And so, you know, we give me a sign. If we want to keep in mind that you know, sometimes when God is trying to do something for you, man, he's trying to show you who you are on earth. Sometimes you, it's good to wait on the Lord, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not move ahead of his timing mm -hmm. and really mess things up. So give me a sign that's just really just a, uh, really consulting God. You know, you get a whole lot of people come prophesy to prophesy, the Lord gonna do this for you, and the Lord gonna do this for you, and God gonna do this for you. But if if you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord for yourself. You can't know. You can't know. Cause you can't hear him. Right. So give me a sign. That's what that's all about. Just, right, you know, right, just right. Make Hear sure. from the Lord. I, I know Lord what God. you told me. Yeah. But this joke over here told me something different. Am I in the will of God? Right, right. right. And if you just bear off and do just anything, mm -hmm. you get caught up. Amen. It could cost you a couple years. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Towards your destiny. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all, we can't wait to get this thing yeah, to you. We can't wait. Uh, February is the month. Sometime around the 23rd, the release party. Mr. Henderson, release party. Concert. Release party. We're gonna get back to y'all with exactly who's gonna be on the card and uh, the time and all that kind of. We just wanted to throw that little bug out there for you right now and uh, to get everybody prepared for that. We will be taking uh, pre-orders on the CD. Um, we will sell uh, tickets in advance. It's gonna be a cheap ticket. Yeah. Some you can afford. I promise. So um, we're looking forward to uh, uh, giving y'all more information about that. I'm real excited about that day. I am too, man. Vince yeah. is going to do his thing. God He's going to hit the stage. Yeah. With the band and yeah. background yeah. singers. And it's going to be what it is. It's going to be what it is. So, hey, everybody, stay up with us. We're going to keep putting these videos out, kind of letting y'all know what we're doing. Um, hey, hit us up. Uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, if you ain't befriended the Incredible Hack, or Haskell Brown as they call me, or if you hadn't befriended Vincent Henderson, yeah, go Vincent, do that. Vincent we love to chat with you. Yeah. If, if, if you got some situations going on in your life, hey, if you want a private session, if you hit us up, we might bring you in the Kia Cup songs to see what you think. Right. Right. All right? Y'all, right. thanks for your time. Yes. Against Incredible Hack, Vincent Henderson, we'll be at you. What's the name of the again? Deliverance from me. Deliverance. From me. Woo! Not for the devil. Right. Right? For me. For me, yeah. <laughs> Not for the devil. For me. From Mercy. Me. Yeah. Amen.